Welcome back to Ope, Legends of Raspia, the comedy fiction fantasy role-playing podcast with its own unique game designed to be accessible for anyone who ever wanted a seat at the role-playing table. So pull up a chair, let down your hair, and spend a few talks with the old bard fox. We'll dive into the episode in a tick, but just in case you need a recap, here's what happened last season on Ope, Legends of Raspia. Our hero, Faubert Dongodare, a humble dishwasher from the desert oasis of Kaltaria, took his fate into his own hands and finally met adventure head on. He rescued his now two-headed grandpappy from a menacing monster of mutation. He attempted to clear his name of bogus assault charges, threw an act of burglary, and nearly immediately turned himself in. And lastly, left his home behind in a jailbreak following the political takeover of the ever-expanding Torian nation. We join Faubert now after befriending Sand Bandits, who have agreed to take back Kaltaria. That's all for me for now, and we definitely won't overdo the Ope Legends of Raspia big voice thing. And, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to allow myself the one. Ope Legends of Raspia! Now we jump into our story. Here we find old Faubert Dongo Dare. Hey there. Uh, our protagonist who decided, despite his own comfort, perhaps his own well-being, to pull a Yui and fight the powers that be. He's currently holed up in a little cavern. It's a bandit hideout known as the Boiling Mound. He is surrounded by about a dozen banditos of the Kaltarian Desert. Next to him, his companion, the faithful and lovable Fum, leans in. So, um, hey, hey, Fobo, you, you going, I'm thinking, um, well, people have been asking what exactly your plan is, and I feel like, you know, maybe we maybe should go over, you know, what, you, what your plan is, mate. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. Um, plan, plan, of course. Yeah, the plan I totally have, uh, entirely figured out, um, the plan, of course. Um, well, see, the best part about the plan is that you don't need to know the mm -hmm. entirety of it at the moment. Oh, I uh, love that. That's a great aspect of a plan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, um, it's, it's in fact uh, better if, uh, you know, bits and pieces of it are revealed slowly, um, you know. I'm sorry, did you say bits? Uh, yes, I, I did say, I said, said bits, it's, uh, yes. I do love bits. That's my, what, 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 why I do so much of my robbing? Yeah, I, I would imagine so, that you would do robbing in order to what? get, uh, Funny you bits. should mention That's robbing. Kind of currency. I, uh, I couldn't help but notice you're, you're, I mean, do you have a secret weapon on you, or what exactly do you do for your violence making? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm hearty. Uh, very hearty, very hearty, it's true. I'm, I'm hearty, and uh, so for violence making, um, you know, I tend to, uh, I tend to, you know, watch, uh, watch, watch others, um, kind of make the violence, so to speak. <clears throat> oh, I, I see. So, that, do, do you have a weapon on you, or is that something that perhaps you might need for your revolution making? I don't mean to pry or nothing. I just, you know, some of the folks around here are just, uh, just wondering. Yeah, um, uh, you know, I have a, uh, I have a snare drum snared drum here uh, in my uh, in my inventory it's very tightly tuned it's like a cracker when it goes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, you know uh, I have uh, my tail which could be used in a method to knock people over I suppose um, yeah that's about it that's about it as far as weapons go so back to your mentioning of bits, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and just shoehorn my will on you here. Um, I can give you a weapon if you need. It's just, well, of course my wagon did got get with a uh, someone got the old the well. I hate to admit it, but someone did the robbing on me. I got <laughs> reverse robbing. I think I think it'd actually just be regular robbing. Yeah, there's no such thing as reverse robbery. 
Right, right. You either are or you aren't. Well, that, that, that may be true. Now, I apologize. I'm just an old coot out here in the desert. But if you'd be willing to go, you know, rob my wagon back, uh, well, I, I'd, be, I'd be more than inclined to give you your selection of a weapon. I see. So we have to reverse rob the robbers. Well, you're reverse robbing the reverse robbers, which I believe is a fast forward rob. <laughs> Be kind, please rewind. I told you I was old. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no one gets this reference. So, um, as the world's turn concludes, um, you have two actions. You can go places, you can do stuff, you can choose to not do stuff and just think, and you'll still get bonuses for that. We got something for everybody here at Oblivion's Raspia. Um... I suppose I'd like to ask more about uh, about these um, bandit bandits, you know. Uh, yes, whom would you like to, I imagine you would want to be asking Prospector UT? Not yeah, that not, you asked. Yeah, not that I ever asked his name. <laughs> nope, I had to write it down. Yeah, sorry, who's that? My name is me, damn you. Oh, yeah, of course. Told us, told us take you, old Fobo. That, that nickname got, got got around, by the way. If it helps, we spell it in a classy way. We, it's it's F O B E A U. It doesn't help. Oh, all right. Well, we're still going to do it. Uh, what can I expect from these bandit bandits? Well, oh, the bandit bandits. That's a fine name for them. Well, uh, now, this is going to sound like I'm making a joke here, but they are, uh, for lack of a better term, sand pirates. Now, they, 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 make, they make their habitats or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they, uh, hide out there. Uh, now, see, I, I'm, I'm not new to banditry, but it's the term, terminologies I'm learning as, as has been established. So, uh, yeah, well, um, they're, they're a lot stronger and bigger than, than we are, so they just kind of took our wagon one day when we was out robbing. And so, uh, well, you, you got to want to talk to their captain. And yes, he, he does demand that you call him captain. Now, do not ask them where their ship is, because I tell you, they will take your wagon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Good tip. Good tip. Do not ask. Fum, are you writing this down? Do not ask uh, about uh, their ship. Yes. Um, do you mean proverbially? Nope. I do mean quite literally. Oh, because in, in either case, no. Okay. Helpful. Yes, well, I'm, I'm here to do this for secret moves. I'm not here for writing things down. You know that, for Bo. Of course. Of course. So I ask it about them. So you're saying that they're bigger and scarier than you? Well... Yeah, unfortunately, I am I, though it does hurt my little robbity dobbity heart, I have to admit they're robbier than I am. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They have, and, and they're well armed, too. Great, great, splendid. Um, <clears throat> well, there are some splint over there, too, but it, it's, 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 it's kind of, you got a whole gang of, not, they're not, most of them aren't even Torian. From what I can tell, Maybe some kind of, I don't know, intercontinental joint or posse of some kind. Their accents are not like ours. Right. Wait a minute. Ours are so similar. They're identical, veritably. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. We all found the same. So, are we going to go take out some pirates of the sand? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, of course. Let's go take out some pirates of the sand. All righty. So, you go ahead. Do you want to take fun with you? Um, hmm. Hmm. If I get into a rough and tumble sort of thing, you know, uh, fun is certainly able to uh, <clears throat> soak up more damage than I. It's true. I'm like a big turtle. I like turtles. <laughs> I was going to equate you more to like a sponge, but that's just my upbringing. Yes, well, you are a dishwasher after all. Do you miss it, by the way? Yes, I do. Hey, um, there's this special plate back at home. It has this smudge I've not been able to get out for revs and revs. It bothers me. Yeah, we all miss the old just a mirage. It'll always have a special plate in my heart. 
Oh, you know the Mirage. Well, yeah, of course. Where do you think I go after I do all my robbing? That makes sense. That makes sense. I, I, you do look a little familiar now. I was going to say, it's hurtful that you don't recognize me. You know, I just get into a fury of dishwashing, uh, you know, tunnel vision. I've seen you. I've seen it. Steel wool and burying bone my alley sponges. Now that's if you're lucky. That is a nice sponge. Um, yeah, I, I do use the fiber wool, but I distinctly do not use the O'Malley sponge. It's just, uh, it's a bit of body. I miss the O'Malley. No, you don't. They were super rude to you. No one, yeah. else, no one there liked you. But everyone here is so nice to me. It's weird. I don't know how to take all these compliments about my beard being beautiful and thick and red. All right, well, oh. quit being so stupid and let's get going. Uh, you, thank you. That's much better. <laughs> yeah, I said like to you. You're uh, from you and I. Let's let's do this. All righty. I'm doing the way to somebody dance. Oh, you can hear it. Kind of. Uh, all right. <clears throat> On with you. Oh, I'm with you. Legends of Raspia is brought to you by Bard Fox. Olor in the game Legends of Raspia is created and produced by Han Blackheart and Rick Tahi. Fobear Dongo Dare is played by Rick Tahi. You can find him on Twitter, where he does occasionally write things. Story, music, and game moderation by Han Blackheart. Find him on Instagram and Twitter at JippoFox. And check out his music at jippofox.bandcamp.com. That's G Y P P O. F-O-X. Video and audio editing by Rick Tahi. Visual art created by Xanthi Blackheart. Check out Bard Fox's Instagram, SoundCloud, and YouTube channel for more Raspian content such as music, goofs, and pictures of our beautiful faces. Thank you, dear listener, for your support, and as always, good luck back there on Earth. <laughs>